All right, well, one of the nation's top conventions is back in Las Vegas, the Global Gaming Expo underway at the Venetian. New technology to make the gaming experience even better is being shown off, and our Sean Delancey is joining us live right now from the Expo with more. Good morning, Sean. Yeah, good morning, Dave and Kalina. The Global Gaming Expo is all about everything that keeps bringing people back to Las Vegas. The games that people enjoy. Now, running the show here is Casey Clark with the American Gaming, Associ uh, Gaming Association. Rather, Casey, this wasn't allowed to happen last year. Are you excited that it oh, is back? I can't, couldn't wait to get back, and it's so exciting to bring the gaming industry back together here to Las Vegas. Tell me a little bit about what this show is all about. It's all about bringing everyone together from the global gaming community, but also about showcasing the latest innovations in gaming. So you've got slot machines, but the growing sports betting and iGaming communities across the country are really, all of those innovations are on display here at the show. And so it's just an exciting time for everybody. Well, and I was looking at some of the, the, the list of exhibitors here, more than 220 of them, architecture and, and design, esports, food and beverage, hotel operations, table games, on and on and on and on. What kind of variety can you actually see when you're here? Well, I think you can get a little bit of everything. You know, we're, as people in Las Vegas know, we are a really in-depth hospitality industry that covers all sides. And so there's something for everybody. If you're looking for the newest table games, if you're looking for digital products or anything else, it's all here. So it's exciting to have everybody together. Why is it important to have all these people in the same location from all of these different industries? And why is it important to the actual business, the bottom dollar? Well, listen, we've been, like everybody, really displaced for a long time. And so it's a really exciting opportunity to have everyone back together again. And it's exciting to bring that all to Las Vegas, who's desperately needing these meetings and conventions, too. And so we're really glad and proud to be doing that and excited about what it can mean for the business of gaming in general. Setting just the business aside for a second, I imagine it's also pretty fun to be here as well for a couple of days. <laughs> Look, I've got a great job and the opportunity to be in Las Vegas with all my friends and peers again for the first time in really two years. It's been really fun. Well, tell me a little bit about what the future of gaming looks like. Because, again, we weren't able to do this last year. What does it look like going forward? Well, I think you're going to see a lot of the same because a lot of customers really like this, but a lot of innovation around what brings a customer into the casino and what they like to do, but also a lot bringing the casino to customers. So a lot about sports betting innovation or, or, or digital products that really come to your phone if you're not able to get to the property. And so I think you're going to see a lot of that. It'd be okay. really fun. Casey, thank you so much for joining us. Again, if you want a game, this is the place to find it. We're going to be talking with a vendor here in just about a half an hour. But for right now, Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.